Hi Equines and welcome to the vlog. It's actually quite early in the morning because we are going out for the day or Cody's just snapping because she's got a new neighbour. Or we're going out for half a day. We're going to go for some nice hacking. We're actually going in the wagon and we're going with another lady and her horse as well. And we're not going too far away, probably about 30 minutes from us. But we just thought it'd be nice to get a change of scenery. Sorry, I don't know if you can see me. We just thought it'd be nice to get a change of scenery and do something a little bit different. So I've literally just got to the yard and I need to do Cody's jobs. Stop pulling faces, Cody. I need to do my jobs and get Cody ready and make sure the other lady's ready and then get on the road. Mum is actually going to walk with us as well, with the dog. So yeah, it should be nice for everyone just to get stretch your legs and change your scenery and stop being so grumpy, please, Cody. So I should probably get on and do my jobs. Cody obviously finds this coat very interesting, don't you? Let's go out for the day. Cody's all ready to go. We are going tacked up just because it's only like 20 minutes, 30 minutes away. Um, and it's easier, so she doesn't have to go a long distance in her tack. Um, we're just waiting for the other lady and then we will get on board, won't we, Coco? It'd be nice actually for her to have a friend because we do spend a lot of time hacking on our own. see me oh they're getting the horses off so look this is where we are let's go and get Cody off just got back to the yard and unloaded the horses and got them uh, settled in their stables and we had a really nice time it was really really nice we went up to a place called glass and dark we're based in the northwest so if you're looking for somewhere to hack that was a really nice route that we did we just walked but it was nice just to get the horses out for a change of scenery so yeah it was a really nice morning and before we set off this morning i put on a post on our instagram page i did it like you know like a story where you can ask um people to ask you questions just because i get quite a lot of comments on my youtube video of people asking me questions and i don't always have time to like get back to them so i've kind of made this time to answer some of your questions so yeah what i'm going to do is go through my phone and just respond to the questions that people left on my instagram and then i'm also going to flick through some of the comments on my youtube page and just go through some of them as well so the first question i've got is would you ever consider having a foal from cody so the answer is yes i would consider having a foal from her but it would depend on the circumstances i am a great believer in not having foals from horses a that have like genetic things that are genetically wrong with them and b not having a foal from a mare that's quite old obviously i want cody to kind of 
go for as long as possible and be a competition horse as long as possible so it's not in the plan for her to have a fall but if she was to get injured or anything horrendous like that was to happen then I think my next step would be to put her in fall so that I then had something from her. I feel like I explained that really bad but basically I really want her to be a competition horse for a long time so no I don't have any plans to put her in fall but if something really bad was to happen and she was injured then I would probably put her in fall. The next question is would you ever get another horse? Again I think this is like a question where it would depend on the circumstances so for example if Cody did go lame or if injured or anything like that then I would probably look at having another horse but it, it would kind of depend on like how old i was at the time or like what i was doing at the time because if i was still like wanting to compete then obviously i'd look to get like another competition horse but if i kind of was happy with how much competing i'd done and i was looking for something quieter then i um, would go with what i said before and put her in fall so it would kind of depend me and mum always talk about having another horse because it would be nice for her to come with me on a horse but it's a lot it's a lot of commitment like Cody takes up an awful lot of my time and a lot of my wage as well and yeah I feel like Cody is spoiled like she's like our only child so I feel like I could have another horse but I wouldn't be able to spoil them both as much as Cody is spoiled on her own now so so in short I would possibly have another horse depending on the circumstances but with my circumstances right now no cody is enough next question is favorite place to take cody i think one of our favorite places to take cody is a place called smallwood livery they're based down in are they based in cheshire i think that's right and it's basically just a equestrian facility and they have a cross-country course not a really big cross-country course it's not like summerford or anything like that it's really small it's like a local facility not local to us but like a small local facility and i feel like that's one of my favorite places to take her because that was some of you might remember it actually because i did vlog it that was like the first place that we did our like first full cross-country round like we've been cross-country schooling and stuff but that was like the first time that we actually did like a full round and like it was just such a happy like it was just such a nice memory so and we've always had a good time since being back and it's just it's just a nice place so yeah probably small wood livery center how big is cody cody is 16 2 the last time i measured her which was last year i think she has filled out quite a lot so she could possibly be bigger than that um but yeah she's about 16 2 16 3 have you had horses before cody yes i have i have owned one horse before cody and that was when i was a teenager in school she was a little thoroughbred cross we don't know what she was cross with but she was like um a british show jumping horse and she was bonkers like she was nuts and she would rear and she would bowl and she would just jump like chaotically but i loved her like as a teenager that's like what you want so yeah i had her for a few years like pretty much throughout the whole high school experience and then we lost her as i left high school so she was the only other one that i'd owned before cody i had had like loans and i did a bit of like breaking for people so like i always had horses to ride like i've always rode consistently since before having Cody but Cody is my first like I say proper horse like my first like competition quite serious horse but yes I've owned one horse before Cody I'm looking for a body protector any recommendations I actually have my body protector here this is my body protector I have no idea what brand it is and I'm sure I read somewhere that like the safety like requirements is changing for these for BE so I'm probably gonna have to get a new one anyway no I don't really have a body protector recommendation this is fine but it is quite big and bulky and to be honest I literally just bought this when we first started competing just to have one and i think i bought it from ebay which is really bad don't do that and i've just kind of had it so to be honest that's probably next on my list as well is to get a decent body protector so if anyone does have any recommendations then please let myself and the person that asked this question know in the comments the next question is what is your job i actually get this question so much a lot of people want to know what i do for work and i don't blame people because i'm the same like if i watch something if i watch like a horsey video and people are showing like their routine and like how they fit it, their horses in around their work schedule i'm like well what do you do like what do you do for work i work in marketing in the public sector so i do marketing for a government department and i can't tell you much more than that like i'm not allowed to say and i'm really fortunate to work from home so when i do like my routine videos and stuff i 
don't have to commute anywhere so I'm able to do Kobe before and after work and then I just go home and work all day. How long have you been riding for? I have been on a horse since I was like I feel like there's a photo of me as a baby somewhere like literally a baby in Spain or one would put me on a horse but I would say I probably started like properly riding from like six seven six seven five six seven around that time and it was pretty much like everyone else just started off on riding school ponies and then we got like our first lone pony and then we got the horse that i talked about earlier which was like my teenage horse and then in between like losing my teenage horse and cody i just pretty much like rode like problem horses and i did a lot of braking and backing and i actually went to newmarket as well and trained with the racing school pretty much all my life i've been riding which is like really shit to say out loud because when you say oh i've been riding all my life i should technically be like an olympian or something by now but i feel like i've only really started like or like really concentrating on like my riding technique since having cody and like taking it a bit more seriously and again i don't take it that seriously because this i don't work full time elsewhere and this isn't my full time job but I feel like I've been really, like, understanding more about, like, the physics of riding and the techniques and, like, dressage and stuff like that since having Cody. I feel like I've had, like, chapters within my riding journey and the chapter that I'm in at the moment is kind of more focused on like getting the best out of her and also trying to like perfect my craft i've been riding a long time but i am by no means an expert and i am still i'm pretty much a, an amateur and i'm still learning every day tips on how to maintain an elastic contact if anyone knows the answer to this please let me know <laughs> because again this is something that i struggle with with cody i feel like you can't answer this question in like one sentence like it depends on the horse, it depends on the training and like each stage of your training. Cody's always been like really soft mouth, like even since I was backing her. But I think what I have learned is the most important thing <clears throat> since having like my trainer that I have now and having Cody is that everything comes from behind. I feel like there's a lot of misconception about contact. There's instances where horses have their like head in, but then there's no power like pushing into that contact. Yeah, I feel like the the most important thing is having that power from behind and making sure you have an active hind leg. That's just like a really small snippet of it. There's, there's an awful lot more to it and there's probably an awful lot more to it that I don't know yet because I am not experienced enough. I would say get yourself a really good trainer. Maybe a trainer that specialises in dressage or in flat work or an eventer. That's just from speaking from my experience. Like my trainer is an ex-eventer and also a top dressage rider and I feel like the way that they explain things makes me really understand like the physics of a horse and helps me with my flat work when I'm riding Cody. Do you have any hobbies outside of horse riding? I do, I actually have quite a few hobbies. I say hobbies, they're things that I try and do as much as I can but like most of you I don't really have a lot of time a lot of time with having a full-time job and having a horse I try to go to the gym as much as possible fitness was a really really key thing for me before I had Cody and since having her I've not had as much time to do it but I still try to go to the gym like three or four times a week I also go twice a week to pole lessons it's not really pole dancing like it's not like that it's more like strength stuff so like pull up I started it about a year and a half ago to help develop my core for riding and I've just really enjoyed it and it's made me super super strong so yeah I go to pole twice a week I also ski I skied for a long time and I am quite an advanced skier here in the UK we don't have a lot of snow so I just go skiing usually about once a year and I'm also learning to snowboard at the moment and I think that's it on the hobby front I would love to do more like I am one of these people that wants to be good at everything like if I watch a film and there's someone I don't know like playing the piano or something like I'd be like right I want to learn to do that but I just don't have time but those are pretty much the main things that I do and that I enjoy and that is it for the questions I will be doing one of these things on my Instagram stories again soon so if you do have any burning questions then keep an eye out for that and you can put them in there and I will do my best to answer them in another video like this I do try my best to answer comments but I think with everything that I've mentioned, like all my hobbies and working and stuff, you can see that I don't get a lot of time and it's really hard for me to like go through them and do it, but I do appreciate everyone's comments so much. And yeah, I feel like that 
is pretty much it for this week's video i hope it's not been too boring for you but i wanted to take you along to show you our lovely ride and then i also wanted to share my answers to all of your burning questions so thank you for anyone that did send me a question if you did enjoy this week's video then please make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel for more weekly videos we post every sunday at 6 p.m also feel free to follow us over on instagram our name is adele.equine and i'll pop the link to that directly in the bio that is also where i will be hosting stories where you can ask me questions hopefully you've enjoyed this week's video at Quines and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!